this up one last time. As you guys can see, these terms, again, are separated by multiplication. So I can use the product rule to separate by adding separate logarithms. Now, there is something to pay very, very close attention to because I'm actually adding in a third rule. So by doing this, I separated now the terms by using this. And again, as I mentioned, there's more grades still to go in. So you separate now each of these by multiplication as um, the addition of logarithms. And then you guys see, now I have a logarithm raised to a power. So we have to go ahead and now use the power rule of logarithms, which remember the power of logarithms said, if you had a term raised to a power, you multiply that term by in front. So my final answer is log base 3 of 2 plus 2 times log base 3 of x plus log base 3 of z. And like the last problem, remember we could simplify log base 2 of 8. We could say 2 raised to the third power gave you 8, so we simplified that. 3 raised to what power gave you 2? That's, that doesn't easily simplify, so we're just going to leave that as is. Okay? Does that make sense, Jaden?